Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Travelist. Today we are cooking with Belgian beer. I'm sure you knew that Belgian beer is delicious to drink and you'll be pleasantly surprised that it's also delicious to cook with. Today we are making Stoplace, a Belgian beer and beef stew. So, we are going to need about a pound of stew beef per two people, two or three onions per pound of beef, and of course, Belgian beer. We're using Castel Donker, but of course you can use any dark Belgian beer that you like. You need some salt and pepper, uh, a little bit of flour to sprinkle on the meat, a bouquet of bay leaf and thyme, butter, lots of butter, uh, one slice of bread, I wouldn't recommend using white bread, and a bit of Dijon and vinegar. All right, so first thing you need to do is to not forget to feed your crew. So you want to toss the onions around in the butter so it's all coated and nicely buttered. Leave it on a medium high heat, let it sizzle for a little bit. In the meantime, chop up your meat, make sure it's all roughly the same size. We like our meat bite size, so you know it's all up to you. Once you're satisfied with your meat, put your butter on a high heat. Now it's important when browning your beef not to crowd the pan. We want to brown it, not steam it. So if you have to, do it in multiple batches. So now that you put your meat in the pan, salt and pepper. Okay, now that our meat is browned, we take it off the heat, sprinkle some flour over it, give it a good stir, and then strain it onto a separate plate. All right, now that we have the meat separate, it is time for the most important part first. It's time for the most important part. We deglaze with the beer. And actually, this is the most important part. Like they always say, a beer and a half to the food, half a beer is the cook. And as they say in Belgium, oba buckets. Once the meat can is to glaze, we add the meat to the onions. Now we add the beer to the onions. So you want to make sure that the beer completely covers all of the so if you took a little extra beer for yourself, give it back to the food. So now we wait. We let that simmer for about an hour to an hour and a half until it gets to the consistency that you like, and then we put the lid on it for the rest of the simmer. Alright, so your stew has been simmering for about an hour now. So you take your Dijon. Smother that piece of bread and you put it right on top of your stew. Now that you've stuck your sandwich in there, you take your bouquet out and then you add a couple drops of vinegar. Just a couple. Now that the simmer is coming to an end, comes the second most important part of the meal the side. Now, most Belgians eat their stoveless with frites or fries. Uh, that's what I recommend. That's how we always eat it. So let's go heat up our fries. 